Introducing Blackview DR900S two-channel, the first dual-channel dash cam featuring 4K Ultra HD. Blackview redefines dash cam visual fidelity with four times the full HD resolution. Combined with high shutter speed and a wide angle of view, the 4K resolution makes a world of difference. Zoom in on crucial details like license plates and images stay sharp. The best part? Blackview integrates the latest video compression technology, so even with four times the resolution, you can record for as long as with a regular full HD dash cam. And with 5 GHz Wi-Fi and optimized video substreams, video transfer to your phone is blazing fast. Whether you connect to your dash cam directly or through the cloud, Blackview DR900S 2 Channel, redefining dash cams. Find yours at www.blackview.com. This is the Yi Smart Dash Cam.
The 165-degree wide-angle camera records at 1080p at 60 frames per second to capture the important details from every angle. It features ADAS, the Advanced Driving Assistance System. It provides real-time lane departure and frontal collision warnings to keep you safe on the road. This is how you install your eSmart dash cam. Let's start by unboxing it. Over here I have the Space Gray Edition Smart Dash Cam. Let's just take this and put it over here. In the box, we have the micro USB cable, the 3M sticky mount, which you'll attach your dash cam to, and the USB car charger. And last but not least, the micro SD card. Let's actually set it up and see. First, peel off the sticker, then attach the car mount to the camera. Make sure that the tab is to the right of the camera, just like that, and it'll click. Then, try to place the camera right in the middle of your car, behind your rear view mirror, so that it's not really blocking your view, and it kind of hides in plain sight. Adjust both knobs until you find that the camera is facing the right way. Take the USB car charger and plug in the micro USB cable. Then plug that into your cigarette lighter. Take the micro USB cable now and plug it into your dash cam. Probably going to see a light turn on. Once you've set your time and date, it's going to ask you to put in a micro SD card. So let's do that now. Pick the micro SD card. Plug it into the left side. Let's see how it does. And it says it's recording. So that's all it takes. If you want to get more professional with your setup, you have a very long micro USB cable that you can actually run along the seams of your dashboard. Now that we've got it set up, let's go for a drive. Here we go.